the audio quality is terrible and it randomly stops sometimes, so be ready for that. I've never done this before, so this is this is pretty interesting. I I recently got like a drawing tablet, or I just found it. And normally I draw just on paper, but I've started using this drawing tablet, and it's like pretty fun. And I've been drawing some things that I actually like. Um, and so I thought that I would try to make a video with it and see what happens. So basically, with this, I'm just, um, I found these shoes that were really, really interesting. They have, like, I, I sketched them in the top, I traced them, but I thought they were really interesting. I'd never seen anything like them before. They have, like, circles around the heel, and I just thought that was cool, so I decided to draw it, and it actually it became like one of my favorite drawings that I have, so I recorded myself drawing parts of it. It took me like six hours or seven hours to do like all of it, but this clip is only like an hour and a half that it took me to do. This is just the person. The background took a very long time, and I'm gonna show the finished the finished one. I just didn't record the whole thing. But I will show the finished product at the end. When I was designing the outfit, I wanted to base it all off of the shoes. Um, I took away the shoes that were on the separate layer, but I wanted the entire outfit to have that kind of like blocky, just like black and white, or um, I made it light gray and dark gray when I colored it. And I gave her these cool sunglasses. I think that in the in the end of this video clip, I actually took them off, and I'm not sure why I did that, but that I did put them back on later. Um, I just thought that would look cool. Just nice sunglasses, and the gloves too. I just thought they would look cooler. And she is hanging from a rope, I guess from the ceiling. I didn't think that through very much, but she's hanging kind of from the ceiling. In the final picture, there's like a brick wall that she's hanging from, and then there's the nicer city in the background, but I changed her outfit a lot throughout the course of this, because I was looking at it, and I kept being like, wow, that's, that's so bad. <laughs> so I kept having to change it. But I'm happy with the way it turned out in the end. The only, the only part I don't like is her face. Her face is really ugly and I'm not sure what I did to it because like rewatching it in the sketch it's it's okay but then the final product is not good <laughs> the face I just I, I ruined the face I don't know what I did um, the rope was super fun to draw actually because it it follows the path of like a real rope even though it doesn't look like it, it just looks like I drew a bunch of cross lines, but it does actually go around her hand in the way that a rope would, and that was really fun to figure out.
Um, when I was coloring, I used the fill tool, which is something I normally don't do. This is actually the first picture where I used the fill tool, I'm pretty sure. And that's just because it's not fun, I guess. Because whenever I use the fill tool and then there's black outlines, then I have to go back in and color in like the lines again, and that's just so annoying. And I made the background green because when I'm coloring in white things, like the white part of the eyes and the teeth, I don't want it to be like when I make the background, I realize that I didn't color it. So I always make the background um, like another color that is not similar to any of the colors in the picture. And something I also realized when I was looking at this after making this recording is I made it green so that I wouldn't, like, so that I would remember to color the white parts, but then I just kept the eyes green, and then I realized I didn't color the eyes. So that's annoying. I had to fix that later. The shading was actually super fun. I, I really liked it. That hand is a little messed up, but the rest of it, it was a good experience, I guess. It was fun to shade. Normally, shading is annoying. I don't do it, but I decided to on, on this one, and I really like the hair. I shaded the hair in purple because it was like red on top, but it's orange on the bottom, and the orange that's shaded with purple kind of looks a little strange. Like, it's hard to tell that it was orange. Oh, you can see how messed up the face is here. but. <laughs> But I wish that I had shaded the orange with a different color. Other I like the shading. And the legs I traced from the picture. I traced part of the legs. Just the bottom part that was attached to the shoe. I was... I ended up not doing that. I ended up just using the same... This, the thing that I traced from the picture as the shoe and not redrawing it, which means the leg is also traced. So the legs are like proportional, which never happens, which is nice to look at. So this is what the finished person looks like. Um, and the, the rest of the drawing I will show. I do like the background, the city. I tried to give it more personality by adding like the cars and billboards and stuff. If I zoom into the billboards, there are some, or well, there's only three of them, but one of them is for brain tablets, and I was thinking of like what kind of things are advertised a lot, and then also in the future, what would be advertised? Um, so I have like a car insurance thing for the flying cars, and then a presidential <laughs> campaign. I don't look fun. Um, yeah, that's this is my drawing. I've never done this before. This is completely new for me. It's probably not going to be very good, but I will get better. I'll just have to see.